Hey all, how's it going? My name is Josh and I'm on a mission and part of my mission is to help you and guide you through the process of buying a house here in Puerto Rico. Listen, I get it. Moving, reinventing yourself, relocating can be really, really stressful. And in Puerto Rico, things are not always as clear as they should be. Unfortunately, we are behind in certain things that when you're actually buying a property in the States, you can actually have an easier process sometimes, hopefully. But I want to guide you and I want to tell you a few little things that you should know before you actually purchase a house or while you're purchasing a house that it might be actually helpful. It's not a game, sir. Again, my name is Josh and I'm a real estate agent here in Puerto Rico and I'm going to guide you through these little steps. Okay, so first thing you should know is that we do have an MLS. However, you're not required to post your property on the MLS. So if you actually go to the MLS in Puerto Rico, you're going to see that a lot of properties are actually not listed there. Our biggest house platform is called Clasificados Online. And I'll put a link down below on my description so you can go directly there. And I'm going to guide you through the website as well so you know how to actually look for houses. And you're actually going to see that it looks really old. It, it, it almost looks like it's still in 1994. Well, unfortunately, it has not been upgraded. I don't know the reason for it, but that is what everyone uses and it's the biggest platform. So you are gonna be able to find every single property on the island there. Okay, so we are right here on Clasificados Online, which is, as I mentioned, the biggest platform you can get pretty much anything you want here is kind of like a correct list and you can see all, everything from like real estate to vehicles pets merchandise you can find jobs so yeah, it's basically like a correct list pretty pretty simple to use as well as very intuitive it's just far here we're gonna click real estate for sale and right here you're gonna see this little box that's gonna tell you what um it's gonna narrow your shirt your search onto what you are actually looking for let's try one of our listings that you should know again i just typed what city or town i wanted what type of property if i wanted an apartment, uh, an apartment walk-up type, a house, commercial, land, multifam, or land as well. Well, Fincas are usually bigger. They're um, larger, larger space. So let's say we want to range for this till how many, how much money we have, because we're balling. How many bedrooms as well. I don't care about that, I just want to see them all. And I don't want to include repos right here. Just want to see what's out there. We get all these options as you can see. As well, other things, other options that you might like. We're gonna click on this one. And here you'll find the information, you're gonna find the agent's info as well, when to contact that, where to contact them. You're gonna see pictures of the property. As you can see. As well, a description. This one has a YouTube page as well. All right. Another thing that you should know is that not every single loan is gonna work with every single property. So you need to get to know your loans. If you're looking and you're set on buying a condo, most likely you're gonna need a conventional loan, which you're gonna need a 20% down payment for it. There's some rural and there's some FHA approved condos, but they're very, very limited. So if you're said that you want this type of property, 
I hope that you listen to me and you actually get more information on this because you're gonna need a conventional loan. Hear me out now. Hopefully you won't. Hopefully the bucam that you want is an it's FHA approved, but most likely don't say I didn't tell you. And another little thing is that you need to have a lot, a lot of patience when it comes to buying a property in Puerto Rico. Closing can take up to 60 days. Some companies are getting better about this. Hopefully it won't take up to 60 days for you. Just be very prepared for this, that it can happen. It has happened before and hopefully it won't happen to you, but at least you're prepared. But if you have a real good real estate agents, they will be guiding you through the whole process. My last suggestion or little tip is that you have to keep your options open. This is especially if you're looking in certain markets, you're going to have very limited properties to look at. And if you're looking for certain towns, that can be even harder. So that means that properties are limited and they go bad. They can go by real fast. What I'm trying to say is that if you really like a property, don't waste any time. Be actually open to make an offer right there or after you saw the house and you meditated on it for a few minutes because it can, if it's a hot market, it will go by real fast. If you have any other questions, feel free to write them down below. I would love to help you guide through this process. If you're moving to Puerto Rico, that's amazing and I hope you really enjoy it. And let me know if you have any other suggestions for future videos. I would love to hear you out. So until next one.